In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sliding split screen effect. To get started, I just added a background video to my timeline and imported two clips for the split screen effect. Let's begin by dragging the first clip for split screen under the track above the background video. Make sure it's positioned to where you want the effect to start. Then during the second video for your split screen under the track above the one you just added. Next, go over to the effects panel and type crop in the search box. Drag the effect on both of the clips you want to use for the split screen. Select your top split screen clip and then go up to effect controls. Scroll down to where the crop effect is changed the left and right values so that together they equal 50%. This way the clip will fill up half the screen. I'm going to use 25% for both left and right, but these numbers will probably be different for you based on what you want to crop, just be sure that added together the equal 50. Once you're finished, go up to the position value under motion and drag the position's first value to the left to move the clip until it's barely touching the edge of the frame. All right, we're done with this clip for now. So go back down to the timeline and click the eye toggle to hide it so that we can fully see the other clip. Select your other split screen clip and go up to effect controls. Once again, scroll down to the crop effect and changes left and right values to get the crap that you'd like while making sure that the two together equal 50%. When you're finished with adjustments, go up to position and drag its first value over to the right so that is barely touching the right edge of the screen. Then we click the eye toggle so that we can see both of the split screen clips again. All right, now that we have our clips in place, let's add the animation. Let's start with the right clip. Since we already have it open in effect, controls position, the time ended the start of the clip. Click the stopwatch toggle next up position to create a starting keyframe. Drag the position second value its eye value until the clip is just slightly off the bottom of the screen. Press the right arrow on your keyboard 15 times, move the time head 15 frames forward, then drag the position's eye value into the clip is fully back on the screen creating the second keyframe. Okay, this looks good. Now let's do the same thing with our other clip, but move it in the opposite direction. Select your other split screen clip on the timeline and go up to effect controls. Position the time at the start of the clip. Click the stopwatch toggle next position to create a certain keyframe. Drag the position I value until the clip is slightly off screen, but at the top this time, press the right arrow key on your keyboard 15 and move the time head forward 15 frames, then drag the position's I value until the clip is fully visible again in the frame. This will create your second keyframe. All right, and now when I play this back, we have a nice looking sliding split screen effect. For our final touch, I'm just going to smooth out the animation a bit. To do this, click and drag to select both of your keyframes, right-click them, and go to Temporal Interpolation Ease In. Then select your other split-screen clip and go up to Effect Controls and do the same thing by dragging Dislike both of your keyframes, right-clicking one of them, and going to Temporal Interpolation Easing, and now when I play this back, it looks smoother and more professional. Alright, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.